Welcome everyone to this session on Nearpod, a cost-effective and easy-to-use tool. In this session, we shall cover on-the-fly activities, student view, and export to PDF. So let's start with on-the-fly activities. You may add an activity during the presentation. Add activity. There are a few ways to add an activity. Web content, open-ended question, draw it, slide, true or false question. So in this example, we will be using web content. So select web content. This will bring you to the menu here. You may wish to add a website to be shared with your learners. So for example, 80 most favorite fruits. So select the website, paste the link, have a preview. So with this preview, you'll be able to explain to your learners your requirements when they see this preview. So share. During the presentation itself, your learners will be able to see the website that you are sharing. However, if you like to see how the learners look at it, select the button here, changing to student view, and you'll be able to see the learners view. So provide some guidance on this activity. So you would like them to select a particular food, one of their favorite food down here. So uh, request them to save it as the, the image. So for example, if they like chicken curry, so they select chicken curry and they will save it as an image. Remember to switch to teacher view to go back to your presentation. So once you have finished with the activity, close it. So close the activity and it will bring you back to your presentation and the activity here. So once you end the activity, you will be going back to your presentation slides. You may follow up with this activity with an open-ended question. In this particular instance, you may ask a question, what is your favorite food? So you type in the question and if you wish to, you may add in an image to show your favorite food here. Then you share the activity with the learners. So once you select the share button, this will bring you to the slide whereby your learners will be filling in the answer. So switch to student mode. The student will type in the answer and you will be able to see the response in your teacher view. So down here is where you will switch to your teacher view and once the answers are in, you may close the activity. That is another way to add activity during your presentation. So once you finish with this, you may like to explore another way to add an activity. I will call it the draw it activity. For a draw it activity, you may fill in an instruction here. What is your favorite food? Once you have completed the question, uh, share it with the learners. Share button, select it, and then it will be shared with all your learners. So what will they see? So from here, from the teacher's view, you will be able to see the various template, or I call it the worksheet, waiting for the learners to draw. So they may need some instructions. Switch to the student view. You may provide guidance here as to the various tools that are available. So the learners may write the answer down. So for here, if they like a particular food, they will just write it down with their mouse. Uh, not very nice. So what they can do, they can also highlight the word. may not be that simple to draw or write using the mouse. So that's where you may suggest to the learners here that they may use the text. So they type in the text here, enter the text. So you can select the color, the size of the fonts, type in the text. So once they type in the text, that's where you will guide them on the way to move or resize the text. So these are all the various ways you may get the learners to enter their answers. So some may not want to type or write. So what may they do? Uh, they may do this. They may select an image instead. 
so they may browse their files if they have it in the drive or they may google for an image to reflect or to share with the rest as to their favorite food for example chicken curry search for an image and from there they will select that image uh, this is one that they may like so once they have selected the image they will then be able to put it in if they have saved the image in the drive they may browse their files select the image from the drive open it and it will appear on the worksheet this is where the learners move the image to a position they are comfortable with so in this particular case they move it to the right so there's the chicken curry word you may guide the learners on the way to make amendments to their submission or before they submit so they may erase the drawing or the uh, writing here and they will revise it accordingly to connect the image to the words now after that you may have a few functions here the undo button redo button then you have the erase all button and the lock so let's go to the erase all button the erase all button will allow you to erase everything on the worksheet so erase all the drawing and you can submit your new drawing switch to the teacher view so once you switch to the teacher view you will be able to see the various responses from your learners once you're satisfied with the responses you may then close the activity so you say yes end the activity so once you end the activity it will bring you back to the presentation you may carry on with the presentation we have come to the end of the presentation remember to select reports then end the presentation for all so this will bring you to your library so the next thing about the library is you will be able to select the export PDF function the purpose of exporting to the PDF function is your slides or your presentation will be in PDF format save it so once you save your PDF of the Neopod presentation you may then share it with your learners without going to Neopod so that will be an advantage for you so that the learners will be able to view it as a PDF version in this session we have covered on the fly activities student view and export to PDF function